Hello everybody, Soap here, and welcome back to Bad End Theater. Um, so this might be the last episode of the series, and a lot of people suggested that I go look at the other games that this creator has made, and I might do that because this game is absolutely amazing. So, as you can see by the title, it is content warning, so that it includes blood, gore, and violence, and some strong language. So, if you're easily triggered by any of these, please click out of this video. Um, I also noticed that my Bad End Theater series has gained a lot of love, and I just want to say thank you so much for that. I really, really do appreciate it. I remember waking up and I was looking through my YouTube videos and seeing my views because I was like, eh, I just want to see what's going on. And I checked and I was like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. You have to be kidding me. That was so surreal to me, seeing, like, those videos and gaining a few more subscribers. That's insane to me. So I can't thank you guys enough. But, with that being said, I just got in my five boxes of Girl Scout cookies. Three Thin Mint, three boxes of Thin Mints and two Tag Alongs. And I am very happy right now. So yeah. <laughs> I just got back from spring break, so if you guys were on spring break, I hope all is well with you. But yeah. Okay. So last time, we... We got to the ending portion of it, but I wanted to, I want to complete all 40 endings because I completed with about, I think, 31, 31 endings. And so I want to complete the rest of them. So yeah, let's get it started. Yeah. Okay. So since, see, since last video, we had 30, we got 36 and we got two letters and I will read the letters once or once I get the first one, then I'll start reading them in chronological order. But we got all of Maidens, which concludes the last letter for Maiden and then all of, uh, Underling's letters. And so we got to go for the hero. So we got the, this bad ending. Mm. Hero flees from the demons. Is let into the castle without castle without issue, so diplomatic. Yes, we really enjoyed my tragedies, absolutely, and so hungry. So wait. Uh, he reaches over Lord's room, so diplomatic, and then possessive. So diplomatic, he's diplomatic and then possessive. So diplomatic. I'm just repeating myself over and over again. Okay, so let's try this. So we're gonna make the hero diplomatic, and I think that's the only one we're gonna do. And then Overlord will be possessive. And let's see how that goes. So let's get rid of all these. Let's go with diplomatic, and let's go with possessive. And we'll just do this. Okay. We'll recap. You are the hero. You like to think of yourself as a pretty reliable and swell guy. Your life has been rather ordinary aside from the occasional heroic adventures, fighting evil monsters and whatnot. You are told a maiden from your village has been kidnapped and is likely being held captive at the nearby demon overlord's castle. Who even puts a village right next to where an entire demon army hangs out? You don't get it. Eh, yeah, weirdos. Weird housing. You're happy to protect the townspeople, though. You were born to play this role. You head off on your adventure to rescue the Maiden. But demon soldiers block your path. You could kill them to gain experience. Flee. Forgetting your pride, you escape with your life. But you can't return now. Your reputation will be- Your, your reputation- <sighs> Your reputation will be ruined. You wonder how you'll ever be able to rescue that maiden all on your own if you can't even fight some lousy demon underlings. You'll take your chances at the castle. You're a hero after all. This is your job. After a long trek, you make it back to the castle's front gates. You are faced with an army of demons that all look very intimidating. There's no way to sneak past these monsters if you want to reach the Overlord. Cut through them, though. We're going to be asking to let you in. You go to the nearest demon and explain why you've come here. They stare you down and you feel very uncomfortable. But they seem to trust you and escort you directly to the Overlord's chambers. That was easy. The Overlord and Maiden seem to be in the middle of some cap casual conversation when you barge in. You all look at each other in surprise and confusion. This is no time to hesitate. Destroy, ask the Maiden what's going on. 
The maid explains that she was never actually captured and that she came here on her own volition. Because nobody seems to read the fucking letter I sent out and I fucking made sure everyone could fucking read it. You fucking dumb motherfuckers. That was the prettiest dangerous thing of her to do. But no one got hurt, so at least there's that. You ask her to return to town with you to reassure everyone of her safety. But the overlord objects to this. The maiden tries to tell her that she'll come right back, but the overlord refuses to hear it. The maiden seems nervous. As a hero, it's your job to mediate situations like these. You tell the overlord that if she doesn't let the two of you go, you'll have to assume she's evil. You'll be forced to vanquish her. Yeah? No, you're all good. <laughs> Am I making another cameo? <laughs> <laughs> hey, subscribers, hey. <laughs> <laughs> and that was my roommate Addy, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, <laughs> uh, if you haven't watched any of my videos, she was in my uh, Undertale video. One of my Undertale videos. It's called Gameplay Featuring My Roommates. She was in there along with my three other roommates. We have another one though, which was really, really nice, but yeah, <laughs> they were in that video too. So check that out if you want to hear me laugh my ass off and hear my roommates. But yeah, okay. Sorry. You leave me no choice. The overlord pauses before suddenly jumping you. You are helpless as she disembowels you with her claws. How horrible. You came all this way only to be met with this cruel fate. You should have destroyed these evil creatures while you had the chance. Your dying wish is for the maiden to somehow make it out of this alive. Naive hero end. Alright. I could have swore I wanted to... I thought I might have done this ending, but I guess I'm wrong. Alright, reset the stage. Alright, 37. So, let's check that out again. So, now we have to... So, we're going to be diplomatic once again. Reach the overlord's room. Oh shit, my bad. Diplomatic and hungry. Okay, so let's try that. So diplomatic and let's just go hungry. Try this again. You are the hero. You like to think of yourself as this all around pretty swell guy. And you just hate the fact that there's a fucking castle next to your goddamn town for no fucking reason. But you're happy to protect the townspeople. <laughs> All right, and they block your path, and I want to slaughter them, but I'm going to be nice, and I'm going to be a little pussy and run. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh, um, another thing. I got a comment on one of my videos, on my Bad in Theater videos, and they, someone said that my voice is pretty, and I almost cried, because that is the sweetest compliment, because I've never gotten that compliment before. And I absolutely love it. So for a lot of the people who have commented such nice things, or just comment in general, I really, really do appreciate it. It's absolutely amazing, and I can't thank you guys enough. Like, a lot of the love has been so heartwarming. Anyway, let me in! Let me in! And <laughs> they sit you down, and then you're in. The Overlord is alone. You ask about the maiden, but the Overlord doesn't seem to know what you're talking about. Is she really never here? You wonder what could have happened to her. The overlord says that she wishes she could help you, but you're the first human that's come in here in forever, at least that she knows of. You think of how you probably shouldn't trust her, seeing that she's a demon and all, but you can't really prove she's lying either. You apologize for the intrusion and return home to your village. The maiden was never found. Useless hero end. Oh, damn it. Oh. That's, okay, that one's sad, but with that front, then we'll do the Overlord, um, because I'm taking it that's the same thing with the Overlord. If, um, Overlord Awakened, Coward, oh no, that, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Dutiful, what? Allows the Maiden to stay in chat. Overlord allows the Maiden to stay in chat. Is that the same thing? You know what? Let's try it. You are the overlord. You live in a castle surrounded by your demon servants. It's a pretty cushy life, you think. Except for those fucking humans who keep killing members of your army. There's even a role called hero whose whole purpose is life is just to destroy you. 
Have they thrown you? <clears throat> What's their deal anyway? You actively avoided pissing off the humans in hopes they'll leave you and your army alone, but they never do. You're still new to the whole overlord thing if you're being quite honest with yourself. You don't really understand the politics of it. But you remind yourself everybody is just doing their best to fulfill their roles. You won't let them bait you into being the evil overlord they expect. You think you're pretty cool and mature to hold yourself to the higher standard like that. One of your underlings walks into your room totally interrupting your thoughts about how awesome you are. And saying something about how boring it is to stand in one place guarding a castle all the time, especially since no one ever comes in here anyway. You see the point, but the whining about it kind of bothers you. What to do with this fucking underling? Yeah, I grant them the day off. Tell them to go take a break from the stifling castle uh, atmosphere and refresh their dark soul. A day off should be fine every once in a while. They thank you and happily scurry off to do who knows what. If you didn't let them, they'd probably join the workers here. <laughs> You have nothing better to do today, so you decide to nap for a little while. Being an overlord sure is great. You're awakened by one of your underlings. A hero wishes to speak with you. Oh shit! He inquires about a maiden who is rumored to be here, but you've never seen her. Humans don't visit often, or ever, really. As the hero takes his leave, you wonder why he totally trusted you there. Hero traditionally kills demons. This guy seemed like he was bad at his job, in your opinion. Whatever. You're still feeling sleepy, so you go right back to your nap. You hear voices in the hall. You aren't sure how long you slept. The sound of a shutting door forces you awake. Before you know it, everything around you is being engulfed by flames. What's going on? Oh, shit. That- Okay, so yeah, so this is new for me. God damn. You try to escape, but something's blocking the door. You're having trouble forcing it open. What is this? Someone didn't want you getting out. Are you being usurped? They have zero foresight. What castle will they rule from if this one burns? You don't want to believe that your underlings have betrayed you. But this is no accident. Those ungrateful bastards. You choke on the thick black smoke from the fire. You can't believe you're being done in by a bunch of cowards. You'll see them in hell. Burned Overlord End. Oh, okay, so it's the same ending. But, I mean, you got a little more, like, imaging out of it, which is cool. Okay. So, let's finish up this, uh, Heroes one. So, Antisocial. Oh, shit. Okay, so Antisocial. Please. Obedient. Trusting. Okay, so not resolute or disloyal. So it so it goes to him, antisocial. So flees from the demons. Antisocial, flees, obedient, and trusting. So be diplomatic, obedient, trusting, antisocial. Right. Please from the demons. Obedient. Obedient, you talk. And then trusting. So obedient. Uh, let's see. Let's trust this. Oh. Personal assault that things through violence. Okay. So just this? You're a hero. You are a pretty cool fucking guy. You hate this fucking place. You hate this campus. You hate college. You wanna leave. Bye bye <laughs> You see with your life. Um, you're here after all. This is your job. On your way to the Overlord's castle, you spot a maiden heading back toward the village. She couldn't have come from the Overlord's castle, could she? This may be the exact maid and you're currently seeking the rescue. She looks so cute, like walking back, like, oh. You approach her with curiosity. Yes, the maiden, what she's doing? Isn't she know the Overlord's castle is like right there? It's dangerous. The maiden explains that she spoke with the Overlord and it turns out that the demons never had any diabolical plans to harm the village or anyone in it. Believe her story. Who the fuck is- oh my god, the room- the door next door is just- won't shut the fuck up. Anyway, you have no reason to assume she's lying to you. 
even though her story is kind of hard to believe, you feel you should trust her. You tell her that you're pretty surprised that everyone has been wrong about demons all along. The townspeople must be informed of this immediately. Oh my... The two of you returned to the village. They had all been so worried. They praise you for your bravery. But the maiden quickly sets the record straight. There was nothing she needed to be rescued from in the first place. No man could ever fucking take me. I only let the overlord take me. The villagers look to you for explanation. I don't fucking know. You politely inform that this isn't your story to tell. You merely ran into her on the way to the castle. She explains that the overlord isn't interested in capturing maidens or anything of the sort. The villagers turn to you again in disbelief. They aren't being subtle about how little they trust this maiden's story. This will always be my little favorite thing. Like my little picture, favorite picture of the maiden because she just... She looks so angry and then he looks so happy. You totally believe her, but to placate these fair citizens? Uh, placate. I think. Yeah. You volunteer to speak to the demons personally. Just in case. The crowd breaks into hushed whispers. You're too busy thinking what a great and reliable hero you are to hear what they're saying. The town's elder's voice breaks you out of your thoughts. He implores you to meet with the overlord immediately and says they'll all keep an eye on the maiden until you return. You figure that sounds alright, but this mood is kind of intense for some reason. Did you miss something? You aren't sure what's going on, but you get the feeling it might be bad to leave the maiden on her own. But she suddenly takes off running. Oh, you thought the two of you were in this together. Her actions has convinced the crowd that she's obviously been a liar and a witch from the start. People are shouting for you to hunt her and her demon friends down already, but that doesn't sound like a very heroic task. You can't help but feel these people are wrong. It's up for you to catch up to her and talk to the demons in order to clear up this misunderstanding. You valiantly dash after the maiden toward the overlord's castle. Oh no, this is where the maiden's on fire. No. The air becomes dark and thick as you enter deep into demon territory. Evil Mias- Miasma? Miasma? No. You realize it's just normal smoke. You see the maiden ahead, but she stopped in her tracks. The overlord's castle engulfed in flames. You had only taken an eye off the maiden for a second, but she's already disappeared. You get closer to the castle, but the smoke is too thick now. You think of turning back. The maiden might need your help, but you can barely see. She can be impossible to find. She could have been lying to you all along. Was this a trap? Would it be worth risking your life on that chance? Your legs feel heavy. No, going in there would be suicide. You overturn to the villagers and tell them there was nothing you could do. You were too late. The maiden was claimed by the demons. Bystander, hero, and A? Really? Shit. Yep. A letter flutters down from beyond the curtain. You found lost letter one. Alright. Let's reset. And now let's read uh, these four. Or these three in order. Because now we got two endings left. And now those are the overlords. Alright. My love, it just isn't fair at all, is it? Oh, we should know. We probably do the tragedy voice. My love, it just isn't fair at all, is it? For them to force us apart like this. It's unreasonable. Cruel. I had to find an outlet for this grief somehow. So I decided to write. And I'll keep writing until the day you'll find me once more. And then, maybe we could write a story together. I'm waiting for that day. Forever yours, tragedy. Oh, Damn. Alright, let's go for Lost Letter number two and three, since if you guys are just like one of refresher. My love, I finally fulfilled a childhood dream of mine. Yes, that's right. I opened up my very own theater. You would be so proud if you could only see it. I know how much it would have meant to you to be at my side on opening night. I'm sorry for going ahead without you. But I thought, if my theater could become world famous, then maybe you just might hear of it. Wherever you are. Forever yours, tragedy. Oh, So it's just a love and this significant other left. And they don't know where they are. My love, I've been feeling a little depressed lately. Many patrons have come to my theater, but none so far have stayed to experience every tale in its entirety. 
The critics haven't exactly been kind, but I understand. My stories aren't exactly crowd pleasers. Despite that, you always listen to the very end. I'm grateful for that. Hope to see you again soon. Forever yours, Tragedy. Damn. Oh. Oh, God. Okay, well. Let's continue forth. Alright, so we got all of them. Now we just need Overlord's endings. So, we'll go. Allow the main to stay in chat. Okay, so you just let, so you let the underling have the day off. So it's just dutiful. So that's the only one. You just want the hero to be dutiful. So you let the hero have the day off, and you let the maiden stay in chat, right? Yep. And then dutiful. Okay. Let's let's try it out. No, I did not mean to do that. Okay. You're the overlord. You have a pretty bomb ass life, being the gay overlord and all, but. Those fuckers keep trying to like, keep trying to kill all your fucking friends. It's not very nice. Not very cash money of them, but you know. This hero guy seems to have a small dick too. Jesus fucking Christ, leave me the god- Leave me the fuck alone. Leave me the fuck alone. Ah, uh, shit's so boring. And I'm a boss ass bitch, so you know, this- this works out. <laughs> uh, okay. Hider standard. Oh, I love the underling. The underling is so cute, but their friends take advantage of them, and it makes me upset. But I want the- I like- okay. Go for it. Have the day off. <laughs> and they thank you, and they happily scurry off to do who knows what. You have nothing better to do, but you nap for a little while. You the overload sure is great. You wait to knock on your door. The underling from earlier brought back some company. Hi. Hey, what's up? You're perhaps my gay lover, right? <laughs> Appreciate your honesty. Oh shit, I- uh, let's go back. The maiden- oh wait, let's see. It's a maiden from nearby Villa. She said her role is to be captured by you. The maiden then goes on to say that she's been getting very impatient thinking about her impending capture. So she's come here to speed things, speed things along. You appreciate her honesty, but regret to inform her you never had any plans to capture any humans. She seems very disappointed by this. Perhaps I'm not performing my role well enough. How can I become more maiden-like? You don't really understand the question. Uh, you think this world puts way too much focus on destiny and junk. Just go home and stop worrying about it, you tell her. Just go home and stop worrying about it. The maiden seems to be having a hard time wrapping her head around this. She insists that she stay and talk to you more. You feel warm inside as she looks into your eyes. This is the first time a human has looked at you without content. Gay lovers. I wonder what to say. Let her stay for a while. This is my favorite scene. You can't bring yourself to send this maiden away. She just got here. You enjoy a nice long chat with her, sharing stories about your kind. She expresses her surprise that demons are not at all what she expected them to be. You are glad that she seems to have an open mind about these kinds of things. You'll also bring up how you always instruct your army to avoid humans, as to not agitate them and get hero sent out after you. That explains why the people in my village have been left unharmed. It's because of your orders, isn't it? We are very grateful. You're surprised to hear her thank you. Oh. You always thought a human to be violent and unreasonable. That's why your servants are always getting killed, despite your efforts to leave them alone. But this maiden is different. You joke that maybe you've been lying to her this whole time and that you were actually super evil all along. The maiden laughs at that, saying she wouldn't mind being held captive here. The people in our village are a little exhausting at times, she said. Please fucking do it. Maybe we can, we can just cuddle. You can capture me and cuddle me. You can't tell if she's into you or not. You notice the sounds of battle have started ringing through your castle halls. Oh, Who's interrupting my fucking moment? Maiden is getting nervous, but you reassure her it's only your underlings roughhousing. No big deal. You know it's probably a hero, but you don't want to upset the maiden by telling her that. Your army will take care of it. It isn't long before the hero bursts into your room. But he shouldn't have made it here. Why didn't they stop him? The hero just stands there, unsure of himself. He is covered in demon blood. As the maiden speaks to him trying to explain the situation, he moved past the hero and out the door. You're not thinking clearly. 
Seeing your servants' bodies and pieces all strewn about your castle has really taken it out of you. The hero did this? There's so much blood. Why? Why did he come for the maiden? Did he think she needed rescuing? There was no one for this hero to save here. There was never any harm meant to anyone. You were just talking to her. Why has it turned out like this? The hero starts babbling in sincere, in sincere apologies and excuses regarding his wrongdoing, realizing his wrongdoing. But you are beyond hearing that kind of bullshit. You have had it with these humans always murdering your servants for no reason. You can no longer hold yourself back and lash out at the hero. Dang. Oh. When you regain control, there's nothing left of the hero. The maid has fled in terror. Oh, You are alone. Oh, what the fuck? Wrathful Overlord End. Oh, she looks so sad. She looks so sad. Oh. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's find the last ending. Okay, so let's go here. So, Disloyal. We'll go Disloyal. Overlord Awakens. You can go one of two routes. Obedient, or we'll just go. So we'll go here. Go well, hungry, awakens, and disloyal. Hungry, awaken. So, oh, tell us the underling to get back to work. So we'll be a tyrant. So we're gonna be a tyrant. So he's gonna be hungry and disloyal, and then hungry and disloyal. Mm. Oh my god. Sorry. Okay. Oh shit. That's right. Ah. No. Okay. So. Go back to work, hungry and disloyal. Okay, so we're not gonna have anything uh, hungry and disloyal. Okay, hold on, I'll be right back. All right, we're back. All right, let's get it started. Get back to work and awaken once again. Hey, what's up bitches, I'm back. <laughs> fuck these bitches and fuck the hero too. The hero radiates a lot of small dick energy, but you know, the only way you have to really avoid pissing off all the humans. But I'm okay. It's not like I died in a lot of my other and the other endings, but you know it's okay. Oh, fuck. You want a day off? Fuck no. Get back to work. You give him a lecture about responsibility and unquestioning obedience. Your servants ought to do what they're told, whether they like it or not. They look really unhappy with you, but you're sure they'll thank you for this later. Venturing too far from the castle tends to spell death. You dismiss the underling and lie down in your nice and comfy overlord bed. All that luxury made you want to take a nap. You fall asleep pretty quick. Just another one of your amazing talents as the overlord. You're awakened by one of your underlings. They brought you a hero who inquires about a missing maiden. You tell him you don't know anything. Humans never really visit this place. He believes you and goes home. To your surprise, you figured he might try to fight you. But you're glad to get back to your nap instead. Oh... <laughs> And wake until you wake up to something completely unexpected. One of your other links is tearing your throat out. Oh my god. Okay, what the fuck? Oh, that actually- that, Okay, that caught me off guard for a minute. Jesus Christ. You try to struggle, but you can't tell- You can tell you're already mortally wounded. What have you done to deserve this kind of ending? You curse at them, choking on your own blood. You die wondering if you could have done anything to prevent this. Assassinated Overlord End. That's the last ending. A letter flutters down from beyond the curtain. You found lost letter number four. Letter collector. Reset the stage. All right, let's see the last letter. My love, do you remember when we first met? I had just finished one of my scripts. One I was quite proud of, in fact. As I read, read it aloud, you happened to pass by. What a terrible ending, you said. Oh. What a terrible ending, you said. Why should these poor fools have to die? You were so rude. You wouldn't accept any of my justifications. And yet... You managed to convince me. It really would be better if everyone could live in harmony. However unrealistic that felt. I look back fondly on that day. Even now, I wonder if... Somewhere, you're thinking of it too. Forever yours, tragedy. 
Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. So, we got all the endings. Yep, we collected every ending. It's, well, it looks like... Do we go for it? How much are we going on for... Alright, let's fucking go for it. It can't end like this. You want the answer? You want to answer the maiden's prayers? You decided to find a way to save everyone. But retracing the past you've seen so far, there doesn't seem to be any room to avoid a bad ending. Is there really nothing you can do to keep them all from getting killed in the end? <laughs> if there's nothing you can do by acting from within their story, maybe it's time to take things into your own hands. These people are on fire. Yep, see? The hero is burning. Choose another roll. Maiden is burning. This is from the true ending. If you want to check out the true ending, it is in my other videos. Or my previous, my last, I think, Bad End Theater video. But yeah, and the Overlord is burning. I accidentally clicked on this when I wasn't finished with the endings and it made me mad. But, let's go. It me. You boldly insert yourself into the story and you use your incredible power to warp everyone into safety. You didn't know you could do that. But what's going on here? You take a moment to get a good look at yourself. You are you. But why are you pitch black? You feel that this body doesn't accurately represent you. But you move past it. The hero, maiden, underling, and overlord have been staring at you too. Oh, I just cracked my neck. They look like they don't really know what they're supposed to do right now. You guess that's because you're usually the one guiding them. Hey, what's up guys? I'm the main character now. What will you say to them? Uh. Uh. Hi guys. You smile awkwardly and introduce yourself. The main is the first to respond. My prayers have been answered. You must be... Her god? No, you're merely the player. If there's any god here, they'd be the final boss. That's just how these role-playing games go. Speaking of which, you now realize what the real true ending must be. Now, now, enough of this. I admit I've been encouraging you all along, but a self-insert story? How past that? You watch helplessly as tragedy descends from the heavens. You didn't honestly believe you were the only one who could force your way onto the stage, did you? I am the narrator, storyteller, god of this world. Call me tragedy if you'd like. Darkness envelopes your party. Envelops your party. You don't mind if I send each of them back to relive one of their many bad endings, right? You're alone in the darkness with me. Tragedy. I sincerely hope you've been enjoying your time in my theater. Though I can't abide you stealing the show without permission. It's quite disrespectful. I'm sick of these all. I'm sick of all these bad endings. I'm sick of all these bad endings. Then, frankly, you should have never come to a place called Bad End Theater. Haven't we already been over this? You think defeating me might just be the only way to see a better ending. It's all that's left for you, isn't it? Well, this does sound like it could be entertaining. Show me what you got. Time to fight God. The stage is set for your final battle against me, the god of this world. What will you do? How will you fight against tragedy itself? I'd love to see it. Attack! You try your best to tear me down, but you can't seem to do any damage. You don't truly exist in this world after all. Oh, is that all? You'll never defeat me like that! <laughs> You're right. Perhaps you don't understand just how outclassed you are here. Behold my beautifully tragic tales! Doesn't seeing them all again make your heart ache? My heart already was aching. I am only wanting to gay lovers. You've witnessed all 41 of my painstakingly crafted endings. You must be as much of a masochist as me. I commend your thoroughness. Surely these characters have a special place in your heart. They're still suffering backstage, you know. It's a shame they couldn't make it here to the end of the world. That's right. 
You came here to save them. You can't do this alone. All right. Let's summon. You find a hero in his home. Hunch over his sewing table. Your sudden intrusion scares the hell out of the poor guy. <laughs> Are you some kind of demon? You explain that no, you're not a demon. You're... How can you explain it in a way the hero can understand? Instead, you ask what he's sewing. Oh, this? I... I crapped all my own hero gear. He sent his pride and his hobby. He wonder if the costumes are what attracted them to the role of hero. Would you like some clothes? You don't seem to be wearing any. You remember, you remember the state of your body and decide that yes, some clothes from the hero would be nice. He's overjoyed by your answer. Apparently his outfits are too gaudy for the other townsfolk, so no one else wants them. The trend for the hero suddenly becomes clear. You offer to change his fate. I can make a living as a tailor rather than a hero? Please, tell me what I can do to reach that dream. The hero will now fight alongside you. I agreed to follow you, but I didn't expect to face something like this. The hero has arrived. We really couldn't have a final boss battle without him. You're the one who's been killing us? Murderer. I can't truly call myself a hero until I see you defeated. Well, let's see about that. Tragedy attacks with a terrible fate. Oh no! No! Alright, let's summon everybody first. You happen to find a maiden as she exits the church. Your heart setting her heart setting on meeting a demon. Perfect timing. She approaches you, having already taken notice of your old form. <gasps> Excuse me, are you a traveler? I never seen anyone like you before. You explain that no, you're not a traveler. Fucking Christ, this shit again! Well, maybe you are in a sense. You've come along this way. Mm. I just had a Thin Mint cookie a while ago, and it still, still tastes it. Anyway, the maiden regards you with excited curiosity. Then perhaps you might be a demon? I was hoping I would meet one today. You think of all the terrible fates that hope would bring about. She is the catalyst of the story after all. I'm the main character. My role as a maiden is to be captured by the overlord. But you see, I've grown so tired of waiting. You remember this part. She wanted to understand her role better and so... You ask what it is that she's really hoping to gain from this. The maiden's confused by your question. Perhaps it was as simple as wanting to reach the place she had felt like she belonged. The trend for this maiden suddenly becomes clear. You offer the change of fate. If there's something I can do to find fulfillment, then please guide me. The maiden will now fight alongside you. What is this horrible creature? You wound me, dear maiden. Is tragedy really such a terrible thing to behold? I remember now. I remember all the awful things you put us through. Then this should be familiar to you as well. Tragedy attacks with a terrible fate. No! Oh. Ow. Let's go. You approach the gates of the Overlord's castle. The underling is on guard duty as you expected. They call out to you. The other demon guard is sound asleep. Hey, you're a pretty weird looking intruder. What do you want? I'm not a fucking intruder! Although you're definitely intruding onto their story right now. Tell the underling you come to save them from tragedy. Oh. <laughs> Okay, try saving me from boredom first. I hate this job. The underling snickers. You ask what kind of job they rather have. It'd be best if I didn't have to work at all. I just want to live a carefree life. I just want to wear. I just want to live a carefree life. I just want to live a carefree. I hate this. I hate this game. I'm gonna quit. I just want to live a carefree life and never get bossed around or picked on. You think of the underlings friends who would bully them into an assassination plot only to betray them in the end. If they kept better company, maybe they wouldn't feel so restless. A true end for this underling suddenly becomes clear. You offer to change their fate. So there's a way that work can be fun? Sounds fake, but I'll tag along with you just in case. The underling will now fight alongside you. I fucking love this part. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> I love that one. 
<laughs> Wait, what the fuck? You didn't say anything about a boss battle. The underling, hmm. He must be desperate to call on such an unreliable ally. Huh. If I beat this guy up, all my problems will be over. Oh, but it won't be that easy. This bitch attacked with a fucking terrible fate. No, the betrayal. Ow! Well, time to summon the last and maiden skate lover. Maiden's lover. I love, okay, I love the maiden and overlord together. They're so cute together. I am crying. Like, oh my god. I love them. I love maidens. They're, they're so cute. They're, so, they're such cute girlfriends. They're such a cute couple. You enter the overlord's room, relieved to see the fire contained to the torches on the walls. When you close the door behind you, the overlord rises from her slumber. Who are you? Have you come to reside in my castle and serve me? For fuck's sake! No, I'm not. You're not here to serve her. It's more like you've come to do her a favor. That's why she spends all day sleeping instead of commanding her demon army. She'll have some response. <laughs> Many of my underlings certainly think I should be more aggressive with the humans, like my father before me. His quest for revenge was endless and self-perpetuating. There's a reason I had to destroy him. You can't help but think that it's a little late in the game to be getting in some new backstory. I have no interest in waging war on the humans. I merely wish to be left alone to live a peaceful, indulgent life in my castle. You realize she must actually be very lonely, only surrounded by soldiers instead of friends. That's why she has the maiden, the cutest girlfriend. No wonder she gets so attached to the maiden. The true end for her the overlord suddenly becomes clear. You offer the chain to her fate. My own attempts at peace have been rather imperfect. If you offer a solution, then very well. I will follow you. The overlord will now fight alongside you. I see. So this is tragedy. Ah, you've brought the overlord. I don't stand a chance now. You prevent me from attaining peace for long enough. Prepare to die. <laughs> I hope you prepare to face your deaths as well. Tragedy attacks with a terrible fate. Oh. <laughs> now that the whole party's here, can you solve my final puzzle? Which combination of behaviors will open the path to your true ending? Show me. But, all right, let's go for justice. The hero rises in this. The hero tries using the belief in justice to fight tragedy. That justice applies to you too, does it not? You pay for your own misdeeds. Oh no, that didn't work. Oh, ow. All right, time for willpower. Your reign of terror ends your tragedy. I refuse to give in. Hero uses his willpower to overcome tragedy. Tragedy is reeling. Hope for Maiden, I think. Our true endings do exist. They simply must. The Maiden hopes with all her heart to overcome tragedy. There's so many people screaming outside. Tragedy is reeling. Uh, tenacity, I think. Knock me down and I'll just come back stronger. The underling uses their tenacity to overcome tragedy. And <laughs> this is so cute. Tragedy is reeling. In the last one, I think it's ambition. I'll reach my true ending with my own power. The overlord uses her ambitious nature to overcome tragedy. Oh, this is it. With everyone's hearts united, you take aim toward your best possible futures. You all unleash one final attack to destroy tragedy once and for all. Damn. HP zero. <clears throat> You've done it. You've managed to defeat me. A tragic ending for tragedy itself. I love it. I must thank you all for fulfilling your roles perfectly. Thank you, hero. Thank you, maiden. I love how it's like starring Maiden and like they're all like, they look so shocked. Oh, Underling. Thank you, Underling. Thank you, Overlord. And <laughs> she's like, what the fuck? Enough of this nonsense. We defeated you, so die already. Don't worry, I'll be making my exit shortly. If 
finally thank you most of all. We wouldn't have made it here without you. Yes, my bad end theater did contain a truly good ending after all. I apologize for antagonizing you for so long. I wanted to deliver a satisfying story. Was I able to do it? I wonder. I don't want to be mean. I'm satisfied. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Happy endings shouldn't always come easily. Reality is not so kind. But you've earned this one. Here's your true ending. Oh, I love this part. This is so cute. The music is so good. Look at the hero. He's so happy. We have a story already music by Nom Nom Nami. I'm definitely going to be looking at their, um, definitely going to be looking at their, uh, stuff a lot more. Underling looks so cute. I love it. No, I'm definitely going to be watching these, like, or play more of the games, honestly. Bed in Theater featuring Eleanor, Eleanor Forte. Oh my god. And then the best couple of all. Oh, I love them so much. No, I absolutely, everyone who contributed to this game is absolutely amazing. I can't, like, oh my god, I can't, like, be happier with this. Everything is absolutely amazing and I love it. Oh my god, yep, see, look at us, outside Ben and Theater. Oh, the love. Oh. Oh wow, that's cool! No. Everybody who contributed to this game has done us amazing work and I love it. You have the letter collector! Oh. oh, the flower! This last line gave me goosebumps, if I'm being honest. Your true end. Oh, your true end. <sighs> Something's missing. <gasps> what the fuck? I didn't do this. Oh, you're still here? The curtain is closed for the final time. I'm shutting down my theater. There are no more tragedies left for me to tell after all. Ask tragedy. Oh my god, that's so cool! Me? You'd like to know why I started this theater? <laughs> because I'm obsessed with bad endings, of course. Remove the mask. Oh, the music. You gently raise your fingers to the cracks of my mask. Piece by piece, it falls apart into your hand, revealing. <gasps> oh my god! Okay, hold on one second. Oh my god, shut the fuck up. It's the, it's the girl. <gasps> I should have warned you. This might affect what you think of my stories. You can't help but compare my face to the maidens. Wait, what? I'm not her. But it's not like she isn't me necessarily. That's how it is with fiction. Would you like to hear? Not another ending, but the truth? Tell me. All right, one last story. You may already know this, but it doesn't have a happy ending. First, I'll set the stage. In this world, there are no such things as demons or even heroes, really. There was a girl eager to set out to fulfill some sort of destiny. That part was true. She met someone. Another girl. <laughs> A running theme, isn't it? The maiden and the overlord? <gasps> really? The two were inseparable, and for a time everything was just wonderful. But their families, the communities they came from, neither could approve of their relationship. Oh, That explains. It's kind of like a Romeo and Juliet type scenario. Where it's just you can't there's no approval on both sides, so the love, it becomes hard to love because 
You can't put all your love into this person because it'll be taken right away. That is the reality for many. This pair was no different. That is the reality for a lot of people when it comes to homosexual relationships or man love man or woman love woman. It's super duper hard for approval. It, and even just in some heterosexual relationships, depending on different like religions and stuff like that, or depending on everything, there's so many factors and some families just are not accepting. And it's horrible for love to have a barrier for for homosexual relationships to have a f- where they're not approved is heartbreaking to me god despite their best efforts the world was intent on pulling them apart she no we we used to like the types of stories where love conquers all where the strength of your love will pull you through any hardship and everything is okay in the end. I lost her. And then I started this theater. But the story... does have a happy ending. It does. Huh? <gasps> oh my god! No way! I was hoping to find you. It's you! It's been so long. I thought I'd never see you again. You always think of the worst endings. I wasn't about to give up just because things got difficult. Why didn't you reveal yourself sooner? I feel like such a fool. I could say the same to you. You knew I could never resist giving your stories a happy ending. So of course I would be drawn to a place like this. Yes, but... I didn't think it would actually work. (laughs) Sometimes everything does turn out okay in the end. Thank you for reminding me of that. I love you. Mm Mm-hmm. I love you too. Stop, I'm gonna cry. Not truly, everyone can live happily ever after. Tragedies end. Oh my god, I have goosebumps. Oh my god. That is so good. What the fuck? Oh my god. That's that's so adorable. Oh my god, because it's, again, it's two sides pulling them apart and now they've found their way to reunite. And it, oh look, it's just closed. What? What if I enter? There's nothing more to see, my love. But if you'd like to reset, if you really want to experience everything all over again, I'm happy to oblige. Shall we begin the resetting process? No. <laughs> You're so fickle. Let me know if you change your mind. Oh my god, that's so good. Oh my god. If there's anything I missed, I might come back to this. But, my god. So yeah, no, everything is closed because this tragedy is true end, so I can't go back and do anything more. But that's okay. Um. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's so... That's so good. That in theater is definitely one of like my favorite games right now because of, of the whole story itself, the different endings of how each action can create a different ending and you being aware of what can change. So many personalities, so many different types of aspects being turned into an ending and it's to get a certain amount, to get a lost letter where more can be said, more can be exposed, and that is building blocks of a tragedy story. Wow. Oh, I'm assuming, okay, yep, that's what I'm assuming, is because in the beginning when I did the ending, I didn't collect all the endings, I didn't get all the lost letters, so then it was like, oh, you're still here? 
maybe we'll like continue. But now that the two the two lovers reunited, there's oh wow, that's so oh, I love this game. God, I might honestly on my own my own I might just restart and replay it honestly. Cause I absolutely love it. It's amazing. But yeah. I just, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. Wow. This is one of like my favorite games and I'm so glad that my Bad End Theater series got a lot of love and everything. It's amazing. But thank you so, so, so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate it and I really appreciate the Bad End Theater series getting a lot of love and if you guys are still here from it, be sure to give my other Let's Plays a love. Playing Undertale, playing Doki Doki Literature Club. I don't know if I'm gonna hop on a new game right now. I might continue forward with Undertale and Doki Doki as of right now. But I'm not sure, maybe I'll play a little like a couple other games. But I know I'm gonna come back and play some of um, uh, Nom Nom Nami's uh, uh, their games. I know I'm gonna play more of them. Because my gosh they did so good with their with creating this game and i'm looking forward to seeing what other games they have also i am recording on a macbook so for this macbook please let me know any other game recommendations that would be compatible for apple please i really do appreciate it though but with that aside be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I am in no way stopping you. Thank you so, so much for watching. Follow all my socials. The links are down in the description below. Be sure to give my other videos a love if you would like. But yeah, I hope you're having a wonderful day, evening, night, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.